Hello and welcome guys to another very quick computer craft tutorial with Lua and all that. Make sure to subscribe to my videos and like them and make sure that you go to Parker's app so you can look at my apps. Uh, they'll be up and published very soon. And if you don't want to do that, make sure you like Sovarsov on Facebook, which is S-O-V-R space S-O-V. And again, if you like the video, more people get to see this, and I think this is a really good tutorial so far. Um, I decided to make my own program on the computer this time. These dang horses will get out of the way. The heck is that? Black Panther something? Oh well. Um, so we got this computer right here. We right click, type in Mr. Sovar, and we could do stuff like hello, hello there. Um, I don't, I, like, it's been a while since I got to this program, so, this is 100% built by me, not copied or anything, so, that's good. Um, there are redstone on the left, back, and right side, and I'm going to show you how that can be used to count in binary. So, count in binary. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, zero, and it goes one, zero through seven over and over and over forever. That's the thing. Um, in order to get out of it, you do have to press control R to hold down and reboot the computer. So let's see, what is the coding for Mr. Sofar? First of all, we have two variables, state and G. G is equal to 1 while state is equal to 0. This while true do loop is an forever going on loop that whatever code is within that loop will be executed over and 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 over. And over. Unless I want to do something like while state equals 0 do this. And as long as state is equal to zero, it'll keep on doing the program until the state is changed. And I will just show you that, like, it, if state is equal to one, if I were to control, save, um, basically what will happen is, is that this program will go through once and it'll quit. And I'll show you, just to show you. As you can see, it just quit. And the thing is, when you type another thing, well, here, let me say this. Uh, when you type in edit and just whatever, it will create that file if it does not exist. And if it does exist, it will just edit it like it was something brand new. So we go back into the program. Uh, here, we just set it to true. When you set it to true, that means it's always gonna that loop is always gonna happen, or if or that if statement is always going to happen. Now right here we have an if statement. If message equals hello, then print hello there. But wait a second, I should probably go over this. Uh, message equals read. Uh, bracket bracket. Message equals read bracket bracket means that the computer says, okay, type in something, and it'll be equal to message. <clears throat> message holds a sentence or a character, and it goes through these if statements to see what the message is, and if it's a certain variable or sentence or character, it will go through this. For example, print hello there. Or if the message is equal to exit program, then it will break the loop, which that's what this command's for. If you put a command called break in a loop, it'll break that loop and it'll continue on with the coding after the loop. So if I type in exit program, it'll literally exit this program because there's only one loop that's keeping it from not going out of it. Um, and then there's a what do you do for Mr. Sovar, and of course it said subscribe, like video, all that stuff count binary is what I just showed you and it executes another loop within a loop which you can do so if message equals count binary then while true do this so there's another loop going over and over and over within another loop 
Um, all this other coding up here does not get affected since this while is true. And if the state is equal to zero, then sleep for 0.5 seconds, which is a delay. Then set the, the left side of the computer off for redstone. So if redstone is connected to the side, for example, you set the side left, back, and right. You could do front, I believe, but I never do. So if it's like uh, left is false, back is false, right is false, that means if redstone's connected connected to the left, right, and back, they're all off. But when you have a state equal to one, it will set the left side true. So therefore, the redstone is going to turn on on the left. Of course, state equals one represents one in binary. Um. And so on and so forth. It keeps on going through all this. So, like the back is true for uh, state equals two. Um, I'm, this is not within my code, but I'm just going to show you this quickly. I believe that I know that there's a command for uh, detecting if redstone is getting an input. There case, in that case, you would do it for an if statement. So, for example, you can execute a program just by having redstone going to it. Um, and of course with the wireless modem and communicating to other computers, it's crazy what you can do. Um, I'm still figuring out the wireless modem, I haven't totally got it to work, so I'm working on it. Um, it goes through all these sequences, so it's like 1, 10, 11, 100, 101, 110, so on and so forth. And when it's gone through all these, uh, state equals state plus one. So if the state was zero, it goes through all these if statements that mean that, like, if state equals six, it'll do this. But since it's zero, the state is equal to zero initially, it will skip all these other if statements, except for the one that says if state equals zero, then do this. But when it gets to the end, it will increase by one. State equals state plus one. So state, if it was zero, so 0 equals 0 plus 1 would make it equal to 1. And then if if state equals state plus 1 when state is equals 1, then it'll be 2. And it'll keep on doing this until if state equals 8, then state will equal 0. So it kind of, if state is 8, it will reset itself to 0, and if it's to 0, it'll go through the process, then it'll be 1, then it'll go through the process, then it'll be 2, and all the way to 7, then 8, and so on. And it keeps on doing that over and over and over. And we also do have this other one. Um, I believe this one works. I'm not totally for sure. I thought I had some bugs with it. It's basically simulating a clock. Uh, so, for example, if message equals redstone timer fast, then g equals g times negative 1. And remember, g was equal to 1. So basically what I'm looking for here is 1 and negative 1. So if negative 1 times negative 1, it will equal 1. But if 1 times negative 1, it will equal negative 1. Basic mathematics, right? So it would alternate to g equals 1 and g equals negative 1. So in that case, it will pulse by having a short delay and setting the left side true then false, true, then false, true, then false. And if you want to alter the speed, you would change the delay. So if this was like point, 0 0.3, it would be a lot quicker than 0 0.5. And if it was 1.0, it would be a lot slower than 0 0.5. But that's basically how my program works. Let me see if I can get this redstone timer fast working. So I do control, save, control, exit. Mr. Sovar. Remember that, guys. And, uh, redstone timer fast.
Yeah, I'm having bugs with that. I'll fix that later, guys. Um, next tutorial is probably going to be with RedNet, the wireless modem and stuff like that. If not, I'll just have computer by computer. And I'm going to try to work with the turtle a little bit. If you don't know what the turtle is, uh, it's basically this guy. I've showed you him before. If you haven't looked at my other videos, you can do stuff like... tunnel and stuff like that and he'll dig for you you can control him wirelessly and all that but anyways for now uh, make sure you subscribe and like my videos like me on Facebook all that thank you guys so much for helping me out by watching these videos and hopefully this helps you out also again if you subscribe to me I will subscribe to you as best as I can again thank you guys uh, this is Mr. Sovar see ya